In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a table in Elementor using only CSS. No HTML, no plugins, just pure text, unordered lists and some CSS code, something like this. I will start by opening my Elementor page and I will use text editor widget. I will just drop it here. And uh, now let's say that I want to create a table with four columns, for example. Now this can be any number, it can be two, three, it can be five, eight columns, whatever you want. I will start with four columns just for purposes of this video. And what I will do is I will replicate the, uh, the, the table that I showed you previously. So basically all my titles of the columns or all my headings, I will just place here as, let's say, country. And then I will create an unordered list for each country in the table. So I will basically say, let's say France, Italy, Serbia, and let's say Montenegro. And now these items uh, basically in the table, I will make them into a bulleted list. Then I will do the same and uh, I will use, let's say capital. So again, capital will be the the title of my column so i will just create it as a regular paragraph and then below i will create an ordered list and each item will correspond to the country so let's say paris rome belgrade and Podgorica. and now let's create one more or two more columns so again, uh, we can do the same that we did uh, previously. So I can type continent and just write Europe, 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 and again, Europe. And the last could be, let's say area. Now for this, I don't have the actual number. So I will just type in some random numbers that don't really matter. just to show you what we will do. Okay, now I will click on update and I will head over to the advanced panel. If you're using Elementor Pro, you will find the custom CSS field here and I will insert my code here. If you're not using the pro version, but the free version, I will also show you how to do this uh, without uh, this field, custom CSS, because it is only available in Elementor Pro. Now let's start by first creating four columns. So I will type selector and I will type column count four. As you can see uh, here, we can put any number, but you have to make sure that you do have four columns or four categories and so on. So just type column count four. Uh, and let's also maybe change the font. I will just use quickly Roboto. And I will click on update. Now let's style this table a little bit. Uh, so first of all, I don't really want these bullets right here. So in order to clear them up, I will type selector, unordered list, and then list style type, I will set it to none. So as you can see, we've removed the bullets from our list. Now I also want to remove this uh, space on the left side. So in order to do that, I will just type margin left, zero and padding left zero pixels okay this is already looking better uh, now uh, the next thing i would like to do is to make these titles of my column a little bit more prominent maybe to make them bold so in order to do that we have to understand that these items like france italy serbia montenegro and so on these are basically list items and the headings or the subtitles for my columns, like country, capital, continent, and area, they are basically paragraphs. So in order to style them, I will just type selector and P. And now I can, let's say, type font weight, and I can put 800 or 700, and this will make them a little bit bolder. I can also change the color to black. And there you go, we already have them a little bit more prominent. I also want to remove this um, space because I think there is too much space between the country and the list. So I will type margin bottom and maybe type 
something like five pixels. Okay, uh, now the next thing I would like to do is to create some kind of slight shading behind uh, the rows. So I want the first row, the third row, the fifth row, if there is any and so on, to be in a gray color. In order to do that, uh, let's type selector. And now we are styling the list items of the unordered list, basically. So I will type unordered list, list item, and I want every, uh, let's say, odd list item to be in a certain color. So I will type in uh, nth child of my list item and I will type odd. And then I will type background color. I can set any color here that I want. My color would be E7, E7, E7. You can see that we've colored them, but there are a few adjustments that we need to make. Uh, first of all, there is this column gap between the columns that I want to remove. So I will go to my selector, the first selector where I defined uh, the column count. So I will type here column gap, zero pixels. Great, you can already see that we don't have this space anymore. Uh, but I also want to create a little bit of spacing for the individual cells or the individual um, list items. So I will go ahead and click selector unordered list, list item. And uh, also I will type here selector P as for paragraph or these titles of our columns like country, capital and so on. And I will first add a little bit of padding on the left side. So something like 15 pixels. And then at the same time, I would like to add a little bit of padding on top and bottom for the list items or for these cells like France, Italy and so on. So I will type selector, unordered list, list item, and then I will add padding top, let's say 5 pixels, and padding bottom also 5 pixels. Great. While we are still here, I also want to maybe adjust the size of my table, the width, because it's a little bit too wide. So I will go to my overall selector, which selects the whole table or the whole text widget. And I will just type here width, something like, let's say 800 pixels. That looks good. Um, now what you can also do, uh, what I will do now, is that I want to make rounded corners around this, um, these shadings, these horizontal gray rows. In order to create border radius or rounded corners for this list, for this table, I will target the first list, the first unordered list or the first column, and I will give its uh, list items border radius on the top left and the bottom left corner. And then I will target the last column or the last unordered list, because in my case, column is basically an unordered list and I will give to its cells or to its, its list items border radius uh, in the top right and bottom right corner. Let me show you what I mean by this. So I will just open a new line here and I will type selector unordered list and now I will use and child to target the first column and child and in my case, uh, I would normally write one, but since uh, the first basically element in my text widget is this paragraph here, and the second element is the unordered list, it means that the first column or the first unordered list is actually and child two, because the first element is the paragraph country. So the second element is my unordered list. So I will type and child two, and then I will type list item, because I'm styling the list items or the individual rows, let's say. And I will type here border radius, uh, let's say something like 15 pixels, 0 pixels, 0 pixels, 15 pixels. This will basically round the top left and the bottom left corner of my list items. And now all I need to do is do something similar, but to the last column and to the last unordered list. So I will type selector, unordered list, and last child, one, which basically means 
uh, that I'm starting the last uh, child or the last column. So and last child one, and then list item. And again, I will use border radius. Just in this case, I will style the border radius of the top right and bottom right corner. That means I will type zero pixels, which is the top left, 15 pixels, which refers to the top uh, right, again, 15 pixels for the bottom right and zero pixels for the bottom left corner. And as you can see, we've styled our table. Now you can play with this. You can play with the text alignment, for example. Uh, let's say that I want to create, um, I want to make the text aligned centrally for all the columns except for the first one. So I want the first column to be left aligned and the rest of them to be centrally aligned. In order to do that, I will just type selector, unordered list. And uh, now I want to exclude uh, the, I would like to exclude the first unordered list and the first paragraph, which is country, the label country, from this rule, from this alignment. So I will type not and child two, because if you remember, my first column has the and child two. And also selector P or paragraph not and child one, because if you remember, the first child in this text editor widget is the first label or the first paragraph country. So I will type it like this and then I will say text align. Oh, sorry, this was a mistake. So I will go back to my code and then I will type text align center. This will basically center all the other items, all the other unordered lists and all the other paragraphs or these um, table labels and make them centrally aligned. And only the first one will be left aligned. So uh, that's it. Let's just update and quickly see how it looks like. There you go. You can see you can now play with the paddings, colors. You can play with the alignment. You can add more columns. You can also add uh, more rows. So if I add three more rows, nothing will change basically. And the rule for shading will stay the same. So it will again be shading only the first, third, fifth row and so on. Now, if you're not using Elementor Pro, but you have the free version, you can do the same thing and use the same code. Uh, just instead of selector, you will basically give your text, uh, text editor a certain class and you will apply that class to this code. So uh, let's say, let me just remove this text. I will actually just maybe copy and paste it on the side and remove it from here for now. Now in the layout, in your text editor widget, you want to create a class. I will say text table and click on update. Then if you go to your CSS, I'm using simple uh, custom CSS and JavaScript plugin. I will link to it in the description and also in the description and in the first pinned comment to this video, you will find a link where you can download this. You can just copy and paste this CSS, get the code, customize it and use it in your project. But for now, uh, let's go to this custom CSS and just copy this code that I previously removed. And now instead of selector, all I want to do is type uh, the name of the class. So my class is text table. So I will type instead of selector dot text table. And basically everywhere where it says selector, I will type this class name. Don't forget to include the dot. And let's click on update and see if this works. I will go and refresh my page. And there you go, we've achieved the same thing. Uh, actually, the only thing that hasn't been applied is the width of my table. So if you remember, we set it to 800 pixels and here for some reason it's not working. So I will go back to my code and here where I have the text table class and width, I will just type here, I will add an important so I will just type exclamation uh, point important, click on update, and this should override the settings. Yes. So basically, sometimes you do need basically sometimes you need to add this important tag 
uh, in order to, for your code to work and just to override some kind of default settings that are set in WordPress or and Elementor. So that's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.